OK. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of times if you want me to write in the E, I can do that. Um, so now one way to solve for this is, again, if we have it in logarithmic form and we can't solve for it, we can rewrite it in exponential form. So remember, I wrote 5 to the y equals 25 as log base 5 of 25 equals y. So here, I don't know how to solve this because I'm taking the logarithm of a variable. But what about if I rewrite it in exponential form? e to the first power equals the square root of x plus 2. Because remember, the ln has a base e. Well, now, let's go ahead and take a look at e. And Gabby, e to the first power, ladies and gentlemen, is just e equals the square root of x plus 2. Now, again, I need to solve for x. So right now, I have the square root of x plus 2. To, so to apply my inverse operations, to undo the square root operation, I need to square. So now I have e squared equals x plus 2. So now, to undo the adding 2, I subtract 2. So therefore, x equals e squared minus 2. So to evaluate or approximate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy mathematical calculator. And I'll just go ahead and take e, square it, and then minus 2. So therefore, I have x is approximately 5.3. Nine. Okay.